Hi guys, it's Sasha here today, and today I'm going to show you how I use my Ravelry account to help me knit from my stash. I'm going to go ahead and log in here to my Ravelry account. If you don't have a Ravelry account, that's awesome because it's free, um, and it's a great resource for anyone who does knitting and crochet. You can search patterns, you can buy patterns, you can see details of different yarns. It's really a great resource. So I'm going to show you three of the primary ways that I use this tool when I am looking for a pattern or a project, something to knit, especially when I'm working from my stash. The first way is that I like to use the yarn search to find the exact yarn I might have in my stash or be working with. So I'll go to the yarn page and then I might write what it is I'm working with. So in this case, maybe I have a couple of skeins of knit collage castaway in my stash that I want to work with. So I just type that in and Ravelry is going to pull up the options and here it is. That's the one. So first what it pulls up is the yarn page and this tells all the details about the yarn. So what gauge it is, bulky, how many yards, how many grams, fiber content and all of that good stuff. So that's, that's really helpful, especially like let's say you remember the name of the yarn but you maybe forgot and lost the label. You can always work look that up again on Ravelry and find it here. But here's what I really like to do. I like to go to pattern ideas and the pattern ideas link shows me patterns people have made using this yarn. So it shows me ideas for things that I might be able to make out of this exact yarn. So here it shows the Yarnicorn Cow, Cozy Castaway Wrap, Marled Cowl, Rustic Handsome Poncho. So now I can browse through these projects and come up with something I like. So maybe I see, okay, the modern ear flap hat, I like that hat. There are four projects that use that yarn. Okay, so if I click to view those four projects, it shows me the projects that have been made um, out of that yarn in that pattern. If I go back here, the other nice thing about this search page is it shows us right here the typical yarn usage, two skeins, one skein, etc. Um, on some of the projects or how many yards over underneath the main picture, which is nice if you know you have a certain amount. Um, so that's, that's one way to use that. We'll go back to the pattern search and I will show you another way that you can find a, a project or a pattern. So from the patterns page, home page, um, they have all of these, the top hot patterns, categories you can browse, pattern highlights based on other things you've already liked, etc. recently added. But my favorite feature to use is the pattern browser and advanced search. So that's right here. You can click on that. <clears throat> and I use this in a couple of different ways. So I'll, I'll show you the first one um, that is yarn based to start with. Um, one of the things you might find is when you go to your stash, you have, let's say, three skeins of sock weight yarn, let's say around 1,200 yards, and you have no idea what to do with it. You can use this advanced search and filter through all of the different um, elements here on the side to, to narrow that down. So let's say we're just starting with yarn. We can scroll down. I have chosen knitting because that's my preferred craft, but crocheters could also click crochet here. Um, and then I can go down to my yarn specifications. So here's fingering weight. So I'm going to click fingering weight. And then we can go to yardage. So let's say I have 900 to 1200 yards. I can select that. And at this point, just based on that, that's going to show me all of the patterns that use 900 to 1200 yards of sock weight or fingering weight yarn which is really great because you've already narrowed things down a ton here. Um, now, beyond that, you can go even further. You can say, you know, I want to use a certain type of needle. So let's say I really like working with size sixes on sock weight. And now it's going to generate all the patterns that use size six sock weight in that amount. Um, so that is just a really cool option. The other thing you can do um, is narrow down if you're, you're looking for just a free pattern 
or a purchase pattern, we could click purchase online and it's going to show all of the ones that come up that you can purchase directly um, online, which is nice. You don't end up finding a pattern that you fall in love with that's only available in a back issue of a magazine like 12 years ago that's no longer in print that you can't get a hold of. So this makes it where, okay, now I'm narrowing it down to only patterns that I um, am able to get right now. So that's, that's a really useful feature. The other way I do this, so let's clear this search. The third way that I might choose to use the advanced pattern search feature is um, I might be looking for a specific type of project. So maybe I have a few yarns in my stash in mind, but I just want to make a certain kind of thing. Um, so then we can use these attributes on the side to choose something different. So maybe we want to do an accessory and we're looking for a hat. And um, we want, let's say, a cloche style hat. So now I can click through those options and it's going to narrow it down. I'm going to close this out. And it's going to show me only hats that are cloche style, which is great, right? So now I have narrowed down my options here and I say, okay, well, I have um, a great, beautiful yarn in my stash that is worsted weight. So let's see which of the patterns work for that. And now it's going to narrow it down further. And then I can say, okay, I've only got um, 150 yards of that, of that yarn. So I better make sure I've got enough yardage. You can click the yardage, 0 to 150 yards. And you can see which patterns come up that way. Which is really a cool option. It, um, narrows things down, makes it where you can say, okay, now I can see this yarn or this, this pattern will work um, in the same weight of yarn I had and it calls for the same amount of yardage I've got. Back to the pattern search. So the last way I like to um, search for pattern or project inspiration is again back to the yarn search. So we'll go there. Um, this time I'm going to enter in Sweet Georgia Tough Love Sock, which is one of my favorite sock weight yarns. It's just a great all around. So here we go. We've got the Tough Love Sock by Sweet Georgia Yarn. I'm going to click on that to go to the yarn page. That gives me all the details, all the specs, shows me the color, color options that people are buying. Um, so earlier we went to pattern ideas, which we can do with a different yarn. And again, it'll result in lots of options for us. It'll show different projects using that yarn um, that we, we can see here. But I'm going to go back, and instead, this time, I am going to click on Projects. So this, instead of tying the yarns to specific patterns, this ties it to different people's projects. So it might, it's a little bit more unorganized, but I like to use this one um, sometimes when I'm looking for inspiration or when I don't even know where I want to start. I might skim through here and just see if anything colorful catches my eye. You know, I'm going through and, oh, this is pretty. Oh, I can see she used colorway birch. Okay, so there's an option. If I find something I like here, so let's go to the next page. Now, side note, this is not always 100% accurate because sometimes people change the yarn on their project um, or use something different, but uh, mostly it does work. Okay, so let's say here I see, okay, here's the um, one I really like, and it shows the pattern link. So now I can click here, and it will take me over to the pattern page, and I can see um, the details of that pattern. So just another way to search through Ravelry, use the resource to make, um, help you find 
patterns or projects based on the kinds of yarns you might have in your stash. So I hope that you have found this helpful and um, if you have just leave a comment here on the blog and share with me what you think or if you use the pattern search feature often already. Thanks so much and happy knitting!